Hello and welcome back to Rob's Homemade Food and Recipes. Today's recipe we are going to be making my hot and spicy guacamole. So let's go through the ingredients first. We have two medium sized avocados chopped, ground cumin, half of red onion finely diced, fresh coriander chopped finely, lemon juice, supposed to use garlic for this video but I've got my hand on a garlic infused olive oil to save messing around the garlic a pinch of salt and pepper one chilli small dice with the rings for presentation and some coriander leaves also for the presentation so here we go avocado chopped add the juice of one lemon or lime whichever flavour you taste to prefer. Then we've got our garlic infused olive oil, two tablespoons, just poured in nicely that should be just about right. Then all we need to do now is mash the avocado down and in to your desired consistency. Some people like it quite chunky, some people like it quite smooth. I'm a chunky kind of guy, so it won't take much mashing to do this. Right, the avocado is now mashed. As you can see, there's still a few chunks in there, which I like a bit of texture. I don't like it too smooth, I'm having it on my nachos or just as a dip. Lovely looking colour, shine. Right, time to add the rest of the ingredients. So we have half of red onion, finely diced, quarter of a tablespoon, a ground cumin, our coriander leaves fresh and our chopped chilies all going in and we just need to give this a quick mix up, mix up all the ingredients, make sure everything's well mixed together see the chunks of the avocado. I've used red chilies just to give it a contrast in colour because if you use the green chilies and add red onion for the also for the same reason it just looks green and boring where this looks more vibrant colourful uh, everything's now mixed we'll just give it a quick taste to see if it needs any salt and pepper probably does need that little pinch of salt and pepper which we had prepared but you can taste the chilli, the coriander leaves are an absolutely fantastic flavour when they're fresh, you can't beat them so salt and pepper mixed in, as you, know, as you can see no cooking at all all done, all mixed, we'll move it over to a presentation bowl and then we'll get ready for the final taste test. So here we are, we've moved it into a nice presentation bowl. We will just now add the extra red chilies on top and the coriander leaves. And there we have it, my hot and spicy guacamole. I have no nachos to hand, which is what I normally have, but I have found a couple of cracker breads in the cupboard which I'm going to use to eat it with. So I'll just grab me a spoon. Here we go, a nice dollop of uh, guacamole. Onto the cracker bread. You can see the texture. All the onion, coriander, it's looking absolutely delicious. Hopefully it tastes the same. Absolutely beautiful coriander taste, creamy avocado, beautiful bit of spice from the chilli, sweetness from the red onion. That is good guacamole. You put that in front of your friends, family, anybody who likes nachos, they will be very happy to eat it. Thank you for watching. Hope you like this video. Please, please smash that like button. It means more than you know. 
let's get this video to 50 likes if we can and I'll be back very soon for another food review or maybe a recipe I'm not 100% sure yet but thanks for dropping by and watching my hot and spicy guacamole hope to see you again soon bye